Hey, good morning everyone. My name is Tracy Austin. I'm the Manager of Communications for the Catholic School Board and I wanted to give you a sneak peek of the inside of a school and a classroom so that you kind of had an idea of what your children would see the first day when they returned for the September 2020 start. Um, our staff members will all be wearing a mask. They will all be wearing a shield or a visor. Some staff will have a gown on and disposable gloves depending on their role. I wanted to show you the shields that we've uh, selected for the high traffic areas, so a secretary's desk, possibly a principal desk, um, with the staff member on one side, students or visitors would be on the other. Give you an idea of what we've done for direction. We have used color to denote direction in the school. So what we've done is we've used green and blue circles that are on the floors. They're spaced two meters apart to help students understand what two meters is so they can stay physically distanced. And even our youngest learners can understand move to the next dot or move to the next blue circle. As well, we have created stand here signs and that helps children line up inside a classroom, maybe in front of a desk and even outside. We'll show you those after. And on the walls, we have matching directional arrows that uh, help guide, regardless of how tall you are, the students along the hallway staying physically distanced. So I just wanted to show you here, here's an example of how a teacher has used the stand here markers to physically distance students. Uh, here's her classroom sink where there's hand washing. Wherever we have a sink and soap, there'll be hand washing instructions for your children so that they have a reminder of how to properly hand wash. This is an example of one of our classrooms. The desks are spaced. This is approximately two meters apart, as much as we are physically able to move the desks apart we have. And this teacher has started to separate children's supplies based on color. So each student will have their own color um, basket or box of supplies. Give you an idea over here throughout the classroom and throughout the school, you'll see signs on how to properly take a mask off, put a mask on and take a mask off. And around here, every hand sanitizing station that are in the classrooms and throughout the school have instructions on how to use those hand sanitizers, which is really important for our students to remember. Take you out to the hall. And here you can see the directional arrows and how we've used them. So the blue takes this traffic out, the green takes this traffic in. Along the way, also outside, we have how to wear a face mask. Um, importantly, also how not to wear a face mask. So that's for our students and staff. Physical distancing signs and the students would just follow the arrows. We have these stanchions throughout the schools and they just help separate students in an area that can be quite congested sometime. So I'll take you this way. We go outside the school, you'll see on all the doors, and I'll go over the signs after, there's different signs for visitors to see and there's directional arrows that go out and they continue outside to take the children safely out to the playground. Hi, I wanted to show you some additional safety measures that we've implemented throughout our buildings. We have used red tape to denote an area where a student shouldn't go um, or something that a student shouldn't use. So a student might see a red X on the floor. They know not to go in that space. Here's an example of red tape used to cover the drinking portion of a water fountain. So students are not to use the drinking portion of a water fountain. We do have water refilling stations throughout our schools. So students will have water bottles that they can use the water refill station with but not the mouth fountain. Uh, here's an example of, again, how to wear a face mask sign, respecting physical distancing. If you follow the flow of traffic, we see our direction takes us around the corner. This is the front of one of our schools. We do have our social distancing stanchion that keeps students and staff separated. On the way through, you'll see more respect physical distancing signs. And here is a sign-in station at a school. So the staff members need to sign in so we know who's in the building and when they leave. After they sign in, they will use hand sanitizer before they proceed. Um, there are instructions on how to use hand sanitizer as well. Something that's important to families is we have a contact-free delivery and pickup bin. So this, an example would be if your child forgot his or her lunch, you would call the school and let them know you were dropping off the lunch. The school would buzz you in, put the lunch in the contact-free bin, and then your child would be called, called down to pick up the lunch afterwards. So that transfer happens without any contact. Every school has these three signs posted on its exterior doors. We see, please respect physical distancing. This is really important. Stop if you have any of these following symptoms. Do not enter this building. 
go seek uh, advice from your healthcare provider. And we have a visitor sign. What this is saying is that only employees are allowed in the building. Visitors, including parents, are by appointment only. So you need to call the office and make an appointment. We are encouraging virtual meetings or phone meetings with principals and teachers. If you do need to come in physically, you require an appointment to enter the building and there'll be a phone number for you to call and set that appointment up. When you get here, if you're in the building, you must wear a mask, you must sanitize upon entry, and you must sign in. So thanks very much. I hope this alleviates a little bit of the, uh, the anxiety that some families might have by not knowing what the inside of our schools look like. Thanks and take care. God bless.